Hey everybody, this is Zach with TechToot.net, and today I'm going to be showing everybody how to forward their email from various email accounts to one inbox. I'll be showing everybody how to do Outlook.com, formerly Hotmail, Gmail, as well as Yahoo. This is also very useful if you have an EDU account and you don't feel like keeping up on it. Um, my local university uses Gmail, so the settings kind of apply. Everybody that doesn't use something like Gmail or Office 365 they should have hopefully a help document on your university's website um, and you can follow that to do the same kind of thing so we're going to go ahead and start with outlook.com you're going to want to go ahead and go up to settings and then options it is the fourth option down here email forwarding and you're going to want to check forward email to another email account and then put your desired account in right here this is a pretty interesting setting this keep a copy of forwarded messages in your outlook.com inbox all of the emails we're going to be covering today actually have something similar all this setting really does is it tells your email provider whether or not it should send you sorry your new email address the email and delete it on outlook.com or yahoo etc or if it should keep a copy in your inbox and mark it as read so normally I like to keep stuff in my inbox. You don't really have to worry about email size or anything nowadays. So there's really no reason not to. It's kind of just an archival thing. And then you'd want to go ahead and click save. And then usually it'll send you a test email. I don't actually have Zach at techtoot.net set up. So I won't actually get an email. I can't show you guys that. But it'll send you a test email in most cases letting you know that it's been forwarding, forwarded. sorry, And it will let you confirm that. So next we'll move on to Gmail. And it's pretty similar here with Gmail. So settings, and then you want settings again. And then you're going to want to go to forwarding and pop slash IMAP. And then Gmail is actually really sweet because you can have multiple forwarding addresses. And like I said, you can forward some of your mail by creating a filter. It's pretty sweet if you want to say just forward real estate email or something like that to your significant other, or maybe you run a blog with someone and you want to forward all the comment posts, something like that. But it's pretty similar. You go ahead and add a forwarding email address. And then click next and it'll just ask you if you want to proceed. You can click proceed. Uh, like I was explaining earlier, confirmation email has been sent. And then it should show up right here. And it'll ask you for a confirmation code. And then it will show up as a forwarding email address. Next we'll move on to Yahoo. Yahoo is pretty similar. You're going to want to go to settings and then accounts and you want to go ahead and edit next to your email address. So now third or fourth option down is forward and same thing, enter your email address. Yahoo actually has a couple other options for storing and forwarding your email. You can store and forward you can forward only or you can forward and mark as red. I like to keep a pretty clean inbox, so I like to forward as mark as red. And there you go, there's a confirmation email pop up, and that's about all there is to it. Hopefully this will be the first of a few more beginner-oriented tutorials that I'll be doing, and I'll be screencasting and I'll also be doing walkthroughs. So if you guys want any more information or maybe want something a little more or I should say less video-like, um, go ahead and check us out at techtoot.net, and I'll have a link in the description.